Now in this lesson we look at sketching parabolas. And now if we consider this, those three expressions there, they are all examples of quadratic expressions because the highest power of x is 2. So we look at our first one, x squared plus 5x minus 4. That x squared there, the highest power of x is 2. In the second expression, 5x squared minus 3x, again, the highest power of x is 2. The x squared there, same with that third expression. All right, The 4 plus x squared, the highest power of x is 2. Now, when we graph a quadratic function, we get a curve called a parabola. And it looks like that, okay? That would be what we call a curve concave up. This curve, though, is upside down. Let's call that concave down. All right, so they are examples of parabolas. Example now. We are asked to complete the table of values and use it to graph y equals x squared minus 4. So let's write down the equation, y equals x squared minus 4. We're going to complete this table. So our first value of x is minus 3. We substitute that back into the equation there, so minus 3 squared. Well, that becomes 9, positive 9, and then 9 minus 4 is 5. All right, if you're going to enter that in on the calculator, when you put the minus 3, then square it, you'll need to put the brackets around the minus 3. Now putting minus 2 in there, okay, minus 2 squared is 4, and 4 minus 4 is 0. Putting minus 1 in there, minus 1 squared is positive 1. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Putting the naught in, naught minus 4 is minus 4. Putting 1 in, 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 4 is minus 3. And we continue putting the 2 in. We get 2 squared minus 4, which is 0. And then putting the 3 in, we get 3 squared minus 4, and that is 5. So our first step is complete. All right, completing the table, we've done that. The next part, we need to graph, graph this equation. So there's our number plane there. Our first set of coordinates, minus 3, 5. Let's plot that. So that is minus 3 across, then 5 up. Our next pair, minus 2, 0. There it is. Minus 1, minus 3. 0, minus 4. 1 minus 3, 2, 0, and finally 3, 5. So all our points are plotted. We then draw as best we can a curve. All right, there's no straight lines there, it's a curve. And we then label the equation y equals x squared minus 4. Excellent.